Bennett Mark approaching. The opening quarter from Atlanta. Uh oh. Oh, and he comes back and fouls him. Josh Christopher. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. With David Aldridge on our sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. The Hawks still playing on their home court in this one. In this matchup with the Hawks, it's their first meeting of the season. Pass to Collins, and here's Young. His three pointers off the mark. Well, the backstory of Clint Capella is interesting as he was only the second player, Greg, from Switzerland to make it to the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, you know, you don't think of basketball right away when you think of Switzerland. But the game has grown so much in Europe over the years. Guys like Capella, who might have gone into soccer at one point, are now gravitating towards hoops. The vision of Trey Young has on the floor is exceptional. He won't miss a guy who's that wide open. Now, here is Young. He is averaging just around 28 and a half points a game. So many offensive skills in his toolkit. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. Here he goes. Pass to Capella. He had stolen by Capella. And here's Young from the arc. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Here's Atlanta now. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Here's Young. This one for three. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Stretching the floor like few can. You have to stay connected to Trey at all times. Out of bounds. And the Hawks can't hang on to the ball. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Collins with the assist. Young's got five. I like that Collins playing under control, reading the floor. Nice setup there. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. And the dunk by Capella. And Greg is the playoffs room in the distance for those teams who have overachieved in the regular season. How do they ensure that their success continues in the postseason? Well, listen, the skeptics will remain. And you've got to understand the playoffs are a different animal. You have to be resilient and adaptable. And when that adversity hits, that's when your focus has to rise. You have to love the strong foundation Clint Capella gives his team. He's incredibly reliable in the paint on both ends of the floor. Drop it to there. Eight points for him. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. The second effort. Collins wide open. He fires. Misses the three. Pass to Herter. The Hawks working the ball around. Back to Capella. Good work defensively by Capella. The Hawks trailed by three. Inside. The kick out to Young. Capella trying to free himself up. Young, no good. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. And Capella sends it back. What you like about Capella as a shot blocker is the patience. He waits until the shooter commits. Just four to shoot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here's Young. He's got five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Just doing the job on the back.
back door. Pass to Okongwu. To the wing right side. Alinari outside. Shot clock at five. Young outside. Over Young. The Hawks again can't hit. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Got to know where Collins is, especially when the break is on. He runs the floor beautifully. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Yeah, it took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. The Hawks shooting their first free throw of the evening. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. Drills the three-pointer. Young's got his third bucket of the night. You know, when you watch Trey Young, he sort of glides around the floor. Then he can stop on a dime. Let's break here. Here come the Hawks. And finish off by Collins. Playing with high energy, outlooking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Atlanta. For the Hawks, guys, what stands out to you, stance wise? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. Pass to right. Outside Williams. Driving to the basket. Lays it up off the glass. Williams has got his first two points of the night. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. What his coaches and teammates love about DeAndre Hunter is his even keel. He never loses his cool, and he's impossible to rattle. The Hawks getting their second and third shots at the line right here. And they've shot the ball well this season in terms of their attempts, 81%. And given how level-headed Hunter is, he's a good guy to have on the floor when you need a... And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Right wing. Young taking his time here. Down low. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. See, back in 2002, you led the NBA in three-point shooting at over 47% a game. How would you have liked playing today? I would have loved it, Kevin. The reason why, I could have shot four threes. And with more threes, gives you more stats. And with more stats, gives you the bag. Back to right. From outside the arc. That one doesn't go. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. And the dunk by Capella. That's just strength right there. Capella is taking it and working through it all. Looking to hopefully get something to drop for him at the line, missing badly in this game so far. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Pass to Okongwu. And it's good. Assisting on the play was William. Okongwu's now got his first bucket in this one. Because he's so good at shooting it and driving it, defenses overplay Lou, leaving other guys free. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Williams inside. Not going to go that time. Ed by Bogdanovich. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. Put that bucket in in no time at all. Young's got the lead up to five now for the Hawks. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Atlanta Hawks are back. Last season, they won the Southeast Division for the first time in six seasons. With quality players in every position, things are starting to gel. Trey Young said, this feels good. We just have a lot of belief in each other. Isaiah, of course, the beat one for a long time. Well, they've clearly made the turn, David. Thanks. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Hunter on the wing. And there's the drive. Atlanta calls timeout. And what a career it's been for Lou Williams. You forget just how long, Gray. He's... Six on the shot clock. And Capella sends it back. What you like about Capella as a shot blocker is the patience. He waits until the shooter commits. And the dunk by Capella. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. And that one's good, Hunter. Superb communication between Hunter and his teammates. They set him up so well. The Hawks working the ball around. And the dunk by Capella. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. The tray. No good on that one. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Pass to Okongwu. Young looking it over. Capella with it. Back to Young. He takes it in. Bob pass to Capella. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Look at that athletic play by Clint Capella. Leaping up with enough airtime to grab it and slam it. Young's shot is good. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Atlanta calls timeout. Without question, Trey Young displaying. Here's White. And so it's Atlanta in the driver's seat. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Pass to Collins. Back to Young. Now here's Capella. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Back to Young. Here's Capella. Capella covering. Young outside. Tries again. And Capella with the layup. Capella's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Atlanta. The Hawks leading by six. Here's Young. And some very quick points for him on that possession. On the office of end, Trey Young makes a huge impact. He can carry a team. The shot's good. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. You know, Smitty, I know it gets plenty of coverage, but Trey Young's raw talent as a score really is just up there on another level. It is. Trey Young's ability to post over 40 points in a game is truly something special. It takes a ton of confidence to have nights like that, but you know he's doing it all for his team and not just for himself. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. To the middle. Here's Capella. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Perhaps the most impressive part of Trey's performance, he did it against coach Eric Spolstra's Miami Heat.
one of the top defensive teams in the league. Whoops. Got caught in between moves there on his way to the rack. To the paint. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Capella's got six. An intimidator himself. Capella's not shying away from a little contact. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Herter with the second effort. And there's the call on Lou Williams. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Outside Cowan. Shot clock at six. Count it. And that's now six points for John Cowan. The vision of Trey Young has on the floor is exceptional. He won't miss a guy who's that wide open. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Out to the right wing. Pass to Hunter. Here's Herter. And he dunks it down. Look at the pass from Hunter. Wanting to get his teammates involved. Williams from outside. Another miss by Williams. And it's the Hawks ball. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Here's Herter. Lays it up and banks it in. Trey Young with the assist. Six points for him. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Resourceful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert. Especially given the height disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. Good on the three-point shot. What do you expect? Young is a threat to score the moment he crosses half court. And Capella sends it back. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been.